we are at the Coeur d'Alene Golf Resort. And behind me is the famous floating green. I don't know if you can see it right now. Excuse me, ma'am. There's no cell phones on the golf course. <laughs> not allowed to Trying to make sure we cover everything that we're, I'm doing the video now on the driving range. Uh, but there's no cell phones on the golf course. We're going to have a beautiful day, can you tell? Our final morning in Coeur d'Alene. We had two very quick nights here and we decided that we would uh, do our recap before we take off here. So I've been swimming in that beautiful lake. Uh-oh, am I wet? I don't want yeah, to get you wet. wet. <laughs> oh my God, I just got out of the shower. <laughs> you look handsome. So I will say this. I knew this when we came out here four or five years ago that I wanted to hang out here and if we've made a mistake on the trip, it's not given us enough days here in Coeur d'Alene. Correct. At the Black, it's a Blackwell Island RV resort. It is perfect. The golf, almost had a hole in one yesterday. Oh wait, no, okay, wait, let's, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so the first day we got here, we lucked out. Um, I'm gonna do a short about this, but persistence sometimes for RV resorts, there's a lot of cancellations and we just lucked out. We called the resort, there was a cancellation. The people in this office are so nice. She called me back and she said, you might have to move for your second night. I'm like, it's okay. And then she called back five minutes later. I worked magic for you, you can stay on the same lot. So I only have one full day in Coeur d'Alene. So Clyde and I are gonna make the best of it here. The Blackwell Island RV resort has the perfect little beach entry. Now, I'm gonna show you some video of the wider spot in the beach, but I just found this cute little private cove area for Clyde and I. I'm gonna throw his, throw his ball out here for him, get a little bit of sun, sip a margarita. Perfect Sunday. Get your ball. Get in there. Get in there, try it out. Look at you go, get that ball. Get that ball. There you go. We kind of lucked out because we got here the first night. You got here right before five o'clock. You had like an eight or nine hour driving day from Newport, Oregon. So the first night we just cooked out, cooked some burgers. Mm -hmm. um, we, you and I got a bottle of our Altamira Sauvignon Blanc wine and we sat yeah. on that little bridge under the willow trees and just enjoyed it. Um, watched a movie that night. So nice little relaxation day after Mike drove his butt off and then was the whole reason why we came here, bucket list, we wanted to play the Coeur d'Alene Golf Resort with the floating green. So we, again, the people in Idaho are nice. I'm just gonna say that over and over. We called the golf course and said, is there any way we can change our 150 tee time to the morning? Cause it's 90. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> and they were like, sure, 750. We're like, we'll take it. So we got up early yep. and had the most fun playing that golf course.
under the flag. Went Mike shopping. almost made a hole in one on the floating green. Yeah, about three or four inches, maybe six. It was actually pretty cool. I didn't hit the floating green, so we have to come back. <laughs> so I can try to hit the floating green. Um, love, love, love this place. Yeah, and then Tom and Laura showed up. We came back. And they got an amazing spot, which is probably one of our, where our original spot would mm -hmm. have been. Oh, actually, I showed everybody the- Yeah, it the, was great. The good spots to find here. So Mike and I are in spot 17, which is really all the way over there. Pass way past the flagpole, over really by the uh, the little clubhouse. If you can, these lots right here, which are on the grass, I think are the best ones. Tom and Laura were in spot 122, which I think would be an amazing spot. It's all the way down in the corner, and you know you've got your lake front right here. Especially if you have dogs, you got this nice grassy area. But yeah, these lots right here. I'll get the number on this one that I'm shooting right now because that is a good site too. But that one down there, 122, where Tom and Laura is, and anything near 122, I think would be ideal. So when we got back from golf, we still had all afternoon. That's when I found this little honey hole that we're sitting in. It's like our own private little beach and the dogs can get in and out of the water. It's perfect, I love it. I told Tom and Laura about it, so Laura came and we sipped some margaritas together. Imagine that. And then we actually went to dinner at Beverly's. Woo, oh, Right on the water, right in the little downtown Coeur d'Alene. It's a part of the resort. We didn't realize it was part of the Coeur d'Alene resort where we played golf, but that restaurant you guys save up some money and just go just give yourself a treat it was it's a little pricey it's a little pricey but, but it's worth it yeah and the wine sommelier he was really cool we had yeah. a lot of fun he brought us a bottle of wine from washington to try which and, was great yeah and we got a tour of the wine cellar which was great so that was a great experience came back went to bed because we had had a pretty full day and we decided before we checked out we had to make the most of it of our stay so we came back to the honey hole to do a little swim in this morning so I just, I can't And I was enough. working and she called me off and said, get your butt over here for a few minutes. At so least enjoy the honey Now I have to go back to work. Yeah, well, we got to so be checked out. So we can go onward to our next location. Laura is trying to put her slides in and she's going to try to beat me to the next location. <laughs> here we go. The race is back on. <laughs> and hopefully she does because it'll be a pump up for her. Well, here's the deal. We need to come back to Coeur d'Alene. We did not book enough nights and... Little uh, suggestion, if you want to stay at the Blackwell Island, you got to do it in advance. But call every day and see if there's cancellations. If you're out on the road, it's worth it, you guys. Coeur d'Alene. Two thumbs up. RV Roundup approved. Yes, big time. Thank you, everybody. We will be back. Yes, we will. <laughs>